Hi Pisces and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for September. Thank you so much for joining me today and let's go ahead and get a sense of the messages and energies for you in September. All right, so in your current energy, in your present energy, we have the Queen of Swords. And this queen is someone who's very decisive. She's very uh, clear thinking. She's a strong communicator. She deals from a rational and intellectual perspective versus coming from an emotional perspective. So this Queen of Swords is an air sign, so that could be, uh, I believe, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be someone within your circle, or it could be some attributes that that you're thinking about and dealing with now, which is really um, looking at both sides of issues within your life uh, from a factual basis, um, cutting away any of the nonsense. You know, this is a very sharp blade, and you can, uh, you're probably thinking about cutting through maybe some of the toxic energy that you've had. And so this queen can help you do that. But, you know, this is, um, this is a uh, rational and intellectual place that you've been doing a lot of thinking lately. And to the degree that you've been talking to people, I mean, you've, you've done it in a very clear way of communicating. So you're able to get your ideas out there in an understandable and um, you know, a fair way. So there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of fairness and, um, objectivity with this queen of swords. In your crossing energy, we have the eight of cups. And in this eight of cups, we see this guy looking out into the horizon with leaving behind all of the cups behind him. And it's really, what's crossing you is that you are thinking about leaving something behind. And it can be leaving behind a relationship, leaving behind an unsatisfying job, leaving behind a town that you no longer connect with. But this sense that of what is crossing you and what's on your mind is, is moving on. Uh, despite the success or the, you know, the eight full cups that you have, you need to make this change and you need to move out there on a literal level. It could mean some travel that you're thinking about travel, um, or that you need to go find yourself. But I really think that it's leaving something behind and, and in your foundation, we have the three, three of swords and the three of swords. The swords is again, um, it's an air sign and it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And so in your foundation, you've had a big hurt. You've had a heart heartache. You've had sadness. There's been something that has caused you pain. You know, the, the swords in the heart is pain. And, you know, looking at this eight of cups, it's like, yeah, I've got to, I've got to leave a situation that is causing me pain. And that's what's happening here is that, uh, you know, in your foundation, the way for you to get a, to objectively, you're objectively thinking is that I need to leave. I need to leave wherever situation I'm in so that I can be happy and so that I can deal with and cope with my broken heart or my sadness or my sense of loss that I feel. But, you know, this is not a pleasant feeling. The good news about this is that these are, uh, you know, th these are days that we have. It could be weeks, it could be months, but, you know, ultimately things do get better. And what's behind you uh, is, you know, the six of wands. So you have had, you, you have goals, you've been working hard toward them, and you're hoping to, to get to a, uh, you know, a successful place. This is about recognition. This is about meeting your goal, the six of wands. And people are looking toward to you and toward you for, you know, inspiration. But really when I see the six of wands, it's about that you've been working hard and you've had the discipline and the desire to keep going and, until you're successful. So, you know, that's where, you, where you've been and 
you know, you've had some clear thinking, you're thinking about leaving a situation in your foundation, you've had pain, you've had also success, and in your crowning energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And this Ten of Pentacles is a card of really of legacy and uh, family stability and security. So uh, what you've been thinking about and what's on your mind is building a stable foundation for your family. And maybe if you have children, for your children. And perhaps for your own benefit, you're looking, uh, looking at investments, looking at property, you're getting your will checked. Maybe you're setting up a, an investment um, tool for your child's education. But you know, this is about taking care of the family across all generations and doing well and, and having abundance in your, in, within your family. In your near future, or what's in front of you, is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is about, um, it's about really kind of being blocked and not seeing the truth. And so even if you ha are thinking of leaving to kind of get away from a situation, you may not be looking at it uh, with the truth in mind. And because you've got, this isn't a blindfold, but it's some type of thing where you can't see. And so, you know, maybe you're not willing to see and maybe you're shutting down and closing off a bit. Twos often relate to decisions, so, but you know, uh, you're, in a, you're in a place where you are not bringing it in and not letting it out. And you, you've got this blindfold here, which you are, uh, maybe there's some type of truth that you just keep suppressing. And uh, again, swords energy of, of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're keeping something blocked within. And in your, where you are right now, you have the Page of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Cups is typically, um, it could be a message of a new relationship or of enthusiasm and an emotional experience. And, you know, the joy of finding companionship that's really enjoyable. It's like deepening an emotional experience. Well, you know, in reverse, again, it's either a delay that you're probably not ready right now to have this because you're kind of getting through this center part here, which is the, using your th rational self to leave a situation and to heal from a heart that's been hurt and you're focused a little bit on resources and, and finances, and maybe you're just kind of not dealing with things for right now. And that can also be, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna deal with my emotions now. I need a break. In your environment and what's around you, it's a beautiful card, it's the Ace of Wands. And Aces are blessings or gifts from the universe. And with this card, it is like the message to you to say, find your passion, find your enthusiasm, and go forth and create it. Make it happen. Take the steps to go out there and to make it a reality. And you know what makes you happy. You know what brings you joy. And maybe you're not in a position here yet to, uh, that you haven't felt ready, but really what's coming into your Life in September is this Ace of Wands opportunity saying, you know what, if you want to manifest a new relationship, then do it. If you want to create a new pastime, if you want to create a new opportunity within your career, you know, this is like your signal from the universe to go forth and to do it. And so Ace of Wands, we have some fire energy. We have uh, Aries um, let me think, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And in your hopes and fears, you have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is a card of joy and of celebration with your friends. And 
you know, this is a wonderful card in this spread because this is, you know, helps, helps this piece. When you can commiserate with your pals and when you can have a drink or you can have coffee and talk about what's happening in your life and to get things off your chest, it's going to help to lighten the load of this Two of Swords. And this is, you know, this is fun, enjoyment. These are your, your pals and they're going to listen to you and they're going to encourage you because they're good friends. And, you know, this is three. It's joy, it's cups, so it's water energy, and uh, it's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then we have, uh, you know, at the, at the outcome of this reading is another wonderful card, is the Queen of Cups. And this Queen of Cups is loving and nurturing and compassionate, and she uses intuition. She understands what people are feeling she's empathetic so she can feel the pain that you may be going through recently and the the whatever it may be of just having to leave something behind she's your ally and again queen of cups is unconditional love you can get loving good advice from this queen or these are qualities that you have but uh you know between Three of Cups of this unconditional love and then celebrating and having some happiness in September and some opportunity to celebrate and to be with your friends, that's pretty powerful. So let me take a look here. Let's kind of review. We've got uh, clear rational thinking in your current energy with the Queen of Swords. You're thinking, you're logically looking at a situation. You're really looking at the pros and cons versus coming from an emotional standpoint. With the Eight of Cups, you're thinking, mm, I've got to get out of this situation. I've got to move on. It's, I've got to leave whatever's behind. I've got to, I've just got to let it go in order to find some peace. In your foundation, you have the Three of Swords. And this is a card of heartache, of sadness, of pain breakups, loss, you know, it's just a card that is very real to many. And so, uh, again, it's leaving, perhaps having to leave a relationship, leave a job or leave a situation that is going to let your heart heal so that you can move on. In your recent past, you've been working hard. You've been trying to maybe work on this relationship, uh, and, uh, you know, you've done your part. You've been seeking your goals. You've been focused on your goals. And, you know, in your crowning energy, you have um, Ten of Pentacles, which is abundance. It's prosperity. It's security, family money, security of property, making good investments, taking care of, us, of wills, and looking after generations within your family. You have the... Two of Swords, which is a sense of really not dealing with perhaps the truth of a matter, of being blocked, of not letting things come in, not letting things go out, certainly could be an after effect of this, is you're kind of guarding your heart. You know, don't want to get hurt again, you're guarding your heart. Where you are right now is the Page of Cups in reverse. So it seems that um, messages of love or opportunities of love, maybe you're just not ready for it yet. And you need some time. You need some time to heal. In your environment, you have the Ace of Wands, which is like, new, which is go forth, be creative, take those creative uh, ideas and energies and desires and make them come to life. And that will help you take your mind off this. And in your hopes and fears, you've got your pals with you. They're there to give you support. They're there to listen to you. They're there for you to uh, reach out to and to try to have some joy. Try to have some celebration with your friends. And 
you know, if you're leaving a situation, you're going to have, maybe you'll have to make a call. Maybe they'll be looking out for you. And again, outcome of your reading is the Queen of Cups, which is a beautiful card of unconditional love, of nurturing, compassionate, and empathetic energy, intuition of understanding your feelings and getting to a place where you're okay with your feelings. So very interesting. So let's take another look at love and we'll look at a uh, oracle card here and we'll get a sense of love for in September. Peacefulness, you recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. So peacefulness uh, can occur after, you know, with, with your healing of dealing with the situations that are causing you some pain and maybe not wanting to deal with things. Ultimately, you're going to get to a peaceful place and it's really looking here when we have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, we have this loving energy just coming right towards you. And with that love, you know, you're going to be able to find kind, you know, the kindness of others and the kindness of uh, that friendship and uh, people around you. Again, Queen of Cups could be energies that you have and that you display, or it could be someone, a, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces uh, within your life who is providing you with a lot of loving, compassionate, and empathetic um, advice and TLC. And finally, I'd like to close the reading by uh, doing a, uh, by looking at a, just a practice card for the month. This is care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what's right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. And again, choose to be love, care and compassion. The Queen of Cups goes hand in hand with this, with this card here. And, you know, take care of yourself where sometimes leaving a situation behind can be daunting and can be scary and can be uh, shocking to friends, but you have to do it to, to heal yourself. You have to do what you have to do in life. And your obligation is to take care of yourself and to be loving to yourself. So um, take care of yourself first and the rest will follow. And always opt for love. You know, show your friends love and and ultimately the love will come back to you in many ways. So I hope that you found something helpful within this reading today. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected and to stay in touch. And I thank you so much for your time in watching today. All the best to you in September. Bye-bye.